Our style contributor Katrina Zisch is here to take us through the new trends we can expect from Sex and the City 2. We'll start at the top with hairstyles. Frank Barbosa, the head hairstylist for the movie, is here with us. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. All right, what was the overall trend in hair for the movie? Well, we're going to see a lot of volume and a lot of wave. Um, volume, you're speaking my language. I'm from Queens. Yes. The big, more is more. The bigger, the better. Definitely, definitely. I'm going to show you a quick trick with my um, trusty flat iron here. I'm sure a lot of us have these at home. So what we're going to do is pull your hair straight out on a vertical, a twist of the wrist, and one slide down will get you that sexy wave. And what I'm going to do is pass this over to Jen and hold out a piece of hair for her hair so she can show you how accessible this is. So I can even do this at home? You can definitely do this at home. Because you gave me this fab look today, yes. but I want to know if I can repeat it at home. You sure can. Awesome. Oh, there so you she go. did a little twist Just with her Just a little finger. twist of the finger and you'll yeah. get that right in there. Is that the key? Right That's the key. That is Definitely. the key. Amazing. <laughs> All right, well, I want to know, is when you're putting these characters together, is it the clothes or the hair that comes first? I would definitely say the clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, like a meeting of the minds with Patricia Field, who's amazing, and Michael Patrick King, and... Um, the actress, I think, is all of us coming together for that look, and then we put that look in, and that's how we decipher that character. Which is why we're going to scooch on over this yes. way. We'll talk to you in a bit, Frank. Alrighty. Talk <laughs> about fashion. All right, Katrina, walk us through these looks. Absolutely. Well, you know, I mean, the Sex and the City style is always over the top and fabulous. When the girls go to Abu Dhabi, it's even more fabulous. But there are some takeaway trends that we'll be seeing in the stores, on the streets, and maybe even in our own closets. We have a few of them here. The jumpsuit is all over this film. There are multiple jumpsuits and even the infamous harem styled. Uh, Go ahead you know, and step up. So yeah, we can you get can a do perfect that. Lift, the harem yeah. styled MC Hammer jumpsuit makes a major <laughs> appearance with the kind of the dropped rise and also the gathered ankle. And you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's really comfortable. But this one was $19 at Victoria's Secret. So anybody can try this trend. And the print on it is kind of, it looks like batik to me. Exactly. It's a very ethnic inspired print, and that's also a huge trend this season. So get two in one. Okay, tell me about this pink okay, dress. Okay, well, ruffles and bright color are always fantastic and always important in Sex in the City. Karen is making this look look very, very fabulous. We added some accessories from Macy's, and also it's important to really kind of make the look modern. And we did that by adding some rock and roll shoes. These are from Michael Antonio, and they're about a hundred, or less than a hundred dollars. So oh, again, wow. these are things that you can incorporate into your own wardrobe without spending the kind of money that we'll see on the accessories in the film. Okay, and our next look over we here. We love this. Now, of course, the girls go out of the city for this time, and when they do that, their wardrobes change. We have this beautiful, long maxi dress on Mariel, and the exotic print is really what you're looking for. We also see Samantha in the film with lots of cutouts. You're seeing that here as well. Oh, well, kind of like those cutout bathing afternoon. suits. It's yes. cut out in dresses, exactly that's a trend? Exactly right. Cutouts are a big oh. trend, but because it covers you on the bottom, it's not too showy. Okay, I was going to say tan lines are going to be an issue. Let's <laughs> SPF. move over. Let's. Oh, we're going to stay here to talk about <laughs> our last one. Absolutely. Well, of course, Sex in the City wouldn't be Sex in the City without sequins. And Blair's wearing a gorgeous dress here that we picked up at Bloomingdale's. It's a modern silhouette. Yeah, it's very short, but it also has the more lucid fluid top. It kind of has the dolman sleeve. It's not skin tight and that's what you want to look for. We also have a bag straight from the film, this feather bag by Raven Kaufman. So that's a little extra special item for everyone this morning. So if it's from the film, does it mean it's super expensive? Yes, it does. Do Let's you know that? Oh, well, just <laughs> Do I have to tell you? Yes. No, yes. No, if so you it's, know. About, it's about $2,500. Twenty yes, five it is. zero zero. But again, this is you know this is a fantasy piece straight from a movie set, and uh, we're gonna I'm gonna stick with the nineteen dollar jumpsuit myself. Wait, let me just see that for that much <laughs> money. I mean, this thing better fly if it's that much money. Ooh, it, it is gorgeous. It's spectacular, though. It looks really good with it your outfit. The outfit. Enjoy it. If it disappears, I know nothing. If you end up with it, all right. Let's I won't go. tell. <laughs> a lot happens early on the early show weekday mornings on CBS.